channel. Today we're going to visit the Central Library in San Diego. I really had planned to do something outdoors for this vlog, but it has been so rainy in San Diego this winter that um, I had to think of something to do that was outside. So I thought of the Central Library. I have never been to the Central Library before, and I am a library lover. When I first moved to San Diego in 2009, I lived in North County, so I um, got a library card at the Encinitas Library. Well, come to learn through this visit that there are city um, libraries and then there are county libraries. The Central Library is a county library and Encinitas is a city library, so I had to get a card at the Central Library um, this visit. The Central Library is a stunning building. It's an architectural work of art outside as well as in, and it houses over two million books, magazines, and other um, objects of interest. It uh, serves as a community center as well, so there are lots of shows, lectures, um, workshops, many of them for free. It also has conference rooms that some um, can be reserved um, that you have to pay for and some can be reserved for free too. You'll just have to call or go to the website, which I will link below. Um, there is also a rare book section with um, special interests of collection. And a big shout out to Matthew Nye, who really helped me navigate through that section. And um, I understand that there are private tours, which I did not get one because you have to reserve uh, the time, which you can do through the website and email him. He's the manager of that section. Um, it is really a jewel for San Diego. Um, it's a great place for everyone to come and everyone is welcome and um, an infinite um, amount of knowledge and information there. Uh, with the internet these days, I don't know that libraries are as popular as they used to be, but I really think they should be. It's um, such a great community resource and a way to connect to um, knowledge as well as people in the community. So without further ado, let's get to the video. I hope you find it relaxing and a good overview of the Central Library. And um, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Um, so here we go to the library. I chose to drive down to the East Village on this very rainy day to visit the library. Although I understand that the trolley and the bus are very convenient, I found the parking very easy at Park Avenue at 11th. And it was free for the first two hours, $1.25 for every 20 minutes after that. And then you can validate your ticket in the lobby. There's a beautiful patio area right off of the lobby, which I would have loved to have spent time with had weather been permitted, but I chose to spend my time in the library shop instead. The shop is full of local authors and artisans as well as products from all over the place. I just love looking at all the creative books and items that were there.
buy anything, but I spotted this one t-shirt that was just so San Diego I couldn't resist it. In the library portion of the first floor, there's a collection of books by local authors, as well as picture books, juvenile books, large print books. you can find a map and directory on each floor describing what you can find on each level. I decided to start my exploration on the ninth floor which is the top floor. When you reach the ninth floor you exit the elevator on the open air Qualcomm terrace where you can get an up close look at the impressive architecture of the suspended dome which I understand was meant to symbolize open-minded freedom of learning and enlightenment. There is also a fabulous view of the Coronado Bridge and the East Village of San Diego. Collections is housed on the ninth floor. This area is so worth the visit. The architecture of the room alone is so special. There is such a regal feel in the room with it filled with designer furniture, high-end furnishings. The impressive collection is switched out routinely. There are rare books and Matt Nye, who is the manager of special collections at the library, was helpful in giving me a broad overview of the area. There are personal tours available by appointment to peruse the rare books and artifacts collected in this area.
collections area, there is an extensive collection of more than 500 miniature books here. There were a middle school group of kids touring the library at this time, and the attraction that they seemed the most excited about was this collection of miniature books. It was really fun to watch them all get you know, so excited over this area. and just taken in all the history of these books and artifacts of this room. It was truly, truly something to behold. The history and the antiquity of them truly wowed me. I have to say, they were one of the most impressive artifacts that I have witnessed up close and personal. of San Diego history books and there is a gallery wall of paintings of different parts of San Diego. There is a portrait of Kate Sessions who is Balboa Park horticulturist. If you have not seen my Balboa Park video please check it out. Next, I went to the 8th floor, which has art, music, and recreation books. It also is the location of the Helen Price Glass Reading Room, which has a 360 view of San Diego and can be rented out for special occasions. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that room. with this beautiful book and enjoy the art of Renoir while taking in this fabulous view. There's also an extensive collection for the baseball enthusiasts like myself on the eighth floor.
Well, that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it encourages you to visit the Central Library in San Diego if you live in San Diego or if you're visiting. Um, if you do visit, please leave a comment below. If you have any suggestions on my videos, please do leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to making more videos. I hope to see you then. Um, thank you very much. Bye.